Hello everyone, and welcome to what is going to be my final video on F1 2016. With F1 2017 out in less than a week, let's hope that we can give this game a good race with which to send it off. Right, so we're waiting now for the five lights to come on on the grid. We're a ghost cut. No, we're off. No, we're off. We've had no lights. There's no HUD. And we're off. I, I don't know what's going on. I've paused the game. Okay, now everything's back and I'm in the wall. I'm immediately in the wall after everything comes back. I've got a legal overtake. And I'm going to have to go around the outside. And there's a massive pileup of about 10,000 cards. Yet yeah, a car just disappeared on the right. There's, there's, there's lag everywhere. And a Salva has taken me out. Well, if there's one way to say goodbye to 2016, it is with the usual chaos that you are going to get online. We had crashes. We had cars just ghosting and leaving the screen. That was mental. So we're down in 14th. Not quite last, but, you know, basically last. And uh, we have a recovery job on our hands, as we always seem to in these videos. You know, and there's a Williams there who has got that corner wrong, and we've taken him for P13. So that's an already position game. Next game. Gained. Next up is Ados Gamer in his Mercedes, I believe that was. And we're going to do what we can to catch up with him. He's gone very wide at this corner. And I haven't been able to gain any time on him because I followed him wide. I went very, very, very wide on that corner. And uh, that hasn't helped. And uh, I'm actually being chased down as well by the guys in 14th and 15th. So I'm under pressure to not come last at the moment. I think that's going to be the prime aim before we can even start thinking about overtaking this Ados Gamer. But we are only looking ahead here. And we do seem to be getting on him very, very slowly here. Not really much going on. It's a bit difficult to commentate. You know, after a first corner of so much mayhem like we saw there, it isn't easy to commentate just over, you know, nothing. But the guy ahead has gone wide again. He doesn't seem to be able to keep his car on the track very well. So we're going to just check the fuel. Yeah, we'll go up to Rich a bit later on, I think, as we sit in the slipstream of a Doz Gamer. It's not easy to say that, of our Doz Gamer. Uh, and we're going to go down. No, we're not. We're just going to clatter into the back of him quite recklessly there. Luckily, neither of us conceded any damage or neither of us span out. So no harm done in the end. But that was a bit of a reckless attempt at a, at a dive down the inside from me there. But uh, he is under pressure now. We are right on the back of him now. And he takes the inside. I'm going to go around the outside if I can. No, he holds on to the position. But he is under pressure now like he hasn't been under pressure all race. There's a man who's got it wrong. Somehow we avoid contact with the manor there, uh, but he's still on the inside, so we're going to have to go around his outside to try and take P11. Uh, nope, that hasn't worked either, and this has become a three-way battle for no points at all. This has become a three-way battle for position 11 as the uh, manor scares me into a slight break there as it cuts across my wing, but we do have managed to avoid the contact, uh, and we continue. There's a Renault, I think that is, if I remember correctly, uh, going very slowly up ahead, so this has become now a four-way battle for some points as I try and go up the inside, but Lukey Boy isn't having any of that nonsense from me there. So this is now a four-way battle for a points paying position. And the Mercedes and the Renault have come together. The Mercedes has not survived that collision, and I'm up into P12. What a what a rubbish corner he's had there, thanks to the Renault. Uh, and now Lukey Boy is going to have to go up the inside. He's been taken out by the Renault. This Renault is giving absolutely... No shits right now. He is just taking out anyone who dares to try and come past him. Uh, it's worked out for me. I've gained two positions, but unfortunately now I'm the next one who has to take on this Renault, which uh, well, that's bad news for me because so far this Renault has looked dangerous in side-by-side -side scenarios. There you go. That's the word. Uh, AOR Van Dorn. If he's Van Dorn, I don't know why he's in a Renault. He should be in a McLaren. But I'm in a McLaren, so maybe that's my fault. I'm in Buttons McLaren, and Van Dorn basically did take his place. So, well, the Renault got a bit out of shape there. He's uh, he's skidding and sliding about all over the shop as I come to catch up with him here. Uh, I'm going to go on the outside. He slid again, and... <laughs> oh, my Lord. I don't know what happened there. He clearly completely lost there, out there. Um... And yeah, so we're going to continue on with this lap now. We're going to see what we can do with the rest of this lap. So we're going to come around here. There's not really anyone. It's not very easy, if I'm honest with you, to try and catch up with anyone when Mr. Bo Guest is so far out in front. But at the same time, 11th place is just so far back. There's not a lot 
I can really do here at the moment. So, um, hmm. I've set it up into rich mix, and uh, we're going to see if we can uh, try and catch up to these guys. There's a whole bunch of fastest laps coming in. We're going to see if our lap time compares to that at all. As we come across the line now, what's it going to be? Uh, it's about a second down, but uh, let me shamelessly self-promote my music. I make trance music, and let's watch a lap whilst that is playing. Enjoy. It wasn't that fun. That track is from an upcoming album of mine. But enough of that self-promotion. We're catching up on ninth place. Mr. Bo Gesta here. Uh, as we look to try and increase our one-point paying position. He's going a little bit slowly. Of course, I'm in Rich Mix. Really pushing it to try and catch up with him. He's cut that corner a bit there. And uh, I've taken a beautiful line through there. And I'm right on the back of him now. Look at him. He's right there, right in front of us. So let's see if we can dive down his inside going to here. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay behind, get the DRS. He's gone a bit wide. We have the ability to go up the inside, but no, we've made a little bit of contact, which has slowed us down slightly in our attempt to try and catch him up and overtake him. But I do have the DRS, which keeps me well in touch now. I've got Logic or LXGIICXBL right behind me. That's quite a mouthful. And the Mercedes has gone a bit wide. And oh, my, I've taken him out. I have taken him out in an awful show of my own overtaking ability, but uh, we'll worry about him in a minute. I've got my ninth place, but this Williams wants to take it off me. So we're going to have to make sure we don't relinquish this. But no, we've gone deep. We've got that corner wrong. The Williams has gone up the inside. It's going to be a straight line battle to the line. And well, it's a Williams versus a McLaren Honda. We know who's winning that. And in the end, I do get 10th place. Now, I must apologize to that Mercedes. I'd had a pretty clean race myself up until there, apart from clattering into the back of the other Mercedes, but no, that was an awful overtake. He went a bit wide, I tried to go up the inside, I misjudged it and got it very, very wrong indeed. I finish in P10, I get in the points, which I guess is something. Uh, the guy I took out comes 13th by the looks of it, and... Well, that is it for F1 2016. The next video you see on an F1 game at the very least will be on F1 2017. I'm looking so forward to it. I've got so many plans. So subscribe and like this video to see plenty more content from myself on F1 2017. Thank you for watching. And, uh, and uh, blah, blah. let me try that again. Thank you for watching and I shall see you on F1 2017.